Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, back again, testing out the TF2 arsenal, uh, where we test out every single weapon, see what they have to offer. This episode, we're using the syringe gun, the medic's default primary, and I got a, yet again, a killstreak version I'm going to be using instead. Uh, with that being said, let's go find a game. I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot Bread Space was actually a TF2 map. Uh, but the syringe gun is better than what we've been using recently, because we've been using only melee weapons, but only vaguely better than that. Uh, it, it does no real damage, like a very small amount of damage, has a lot of ammo, every shot fires in an arc, so if I shoot against this wall here, uh, I guess you won't really see it, but I have to aim like a little bit up, right, you can you can kind of see the needles where they're going, I have to aim a little bit up so that stuff hits, it's very very bad, you can see it does 11 damage, like, like nothing, I did like 10 damage to that guy, do I have to heal that guy real quick, yeah. And I'm dead. But yeah, this should be nicer than all the the melee weapons we've been using recently, because you know, having to get close for like the, the stock fists on heavy or whatever, or only being able to use buildings on engineer when your team's getting rolled and spawn camps, uh they're they're not great experiences. So it, it should be nicer to be able to walk around and do stuff, but we're gonna do very little. Uh with with this weapon, all you really got is like well, you'll do like 30 damage to someone before you die. Maybe you'll regen if they suck, but it takes a lot. I also have the Solemn Val equip so that I can see the enemy's health since we're not using our melee anyway. It can be nice to see who's like kinda low. Alright, so this guy taunting. Look how long it took to kill a guy that was completely standing still because he was taunting. Press w. It's awful. Oh. Yeah, it does very, very little damage. Yo. 10 per thing, and it, it takes a lot of hits to kill someone. I have no clue why my screen was just shaking right there. We actually just killed a direct hit soldier with a syringe gun? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How the fuck did we manage that? Oh, we're dead. We're 100%. Guaranteed dead. Why did I click out of my game? How did that even just happen? I didn't even like alt tab or anything. I can't believe we killed a direct hit soldier that was actually fighting us with this thing. That's insane. But yeah, there's the there's the moldy bread at the end. That's how the map ends. Honestly, that I wouldn't be too opposed to this ending, but it would be nice if we kind of held it a little bit so that I could get some footage. But I don't plan on using this too much. I mean, you kind of get the point. It does very little damage. Uh, shoots in a big arc. Very hard to get kills with. Uh, you'll, you'll just die a lot of the time when you are using this. Now, to be fair, the medic should be healing most of the time instead of doing damage anyway. Uh, it's just kind of nuts just how little this does compared to the Crusader's crossbow compared to his normal stuff. But honestly, yeah, I might just end it here. Normally, I don't like ending stuff so short, but I genuinely feel like we kind of got the point across. All it does is damage. The idea with using it is like you're healing someone, you know, they die, and you're gonna die anyway, so you just pull it out and try to do 10 damage, but 10 damage is like nothing, right? You're not gonna kill most people with that. Uh, it takes a very close game for this to be an efficient weapon in any capacity. Uh, for the medic, the only primary you should ever really use is the Crusader's Crossbow. There is some stuff that's like kind of maybe viable. But this default syringe gun is not one of them. It does very little damage. The arc shots are absolutely awful. Uh, I don't think they can be deflected by pyros, luckily, because like even though they are projectiles, I think they count as like bullets or hit scan. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.